Guys, that is the newest massive Chinese restaurant here in this Mall of Asia complex area. And I can't wait to show you guys what we're gonna have for dinner at uh, my friend Natalie Ko's wedding. Lao, how are you doing, brother? Hey! Mark uh, went back up. So you're ready for our Chinese dinner? Yeah, at this massive for... at this massive restaurant dude this whole building is the restaurant second floor is the uh, main dining area mm -hmm. but for functions weddings then it's on the third floor nice so we just parked in the parking lot very spacious parking here we're about to enter the main building Lal, how are you doing Hi. ready ready for a proper Lala Chinese TV wedding is doing Mark's sister's weddings reception we are going to make it happen, baby! And you are going to see tomorrow's big headlines. Mark, Lal, and Lord. East Ocean Palace may be one of the newest Chinese restaurants in Metro Manila, opened in September 2018. But its pedigree comes from its owner, Robert C. of the legendary Century Seafood Restaurant at the Century Park Hotel. This three-level palatial restaurant has a grand lobby, main dining hall, multiple private rooms, and a stunning ballroom. Oh, was that me? Uh, wait, I think it must be another girl too. Oh my gosh, are you documenting the moment? Uh, absolutely, yeah. Sophie, how are you doing? I'm good, it's so good to see you. Lal didn't know that you were the surprise guest for this evening. I am still a little flabbergasted. Sophie's Hi guys. gonna be my date tonight. <laughs> and at where I am right yes. now in life. And if you guys didn't know, Sophie was Miss UK, Miss Britain. Yeah, Miss Global Gapwani. <laughs> Soon to be Lal's next wife. I have at no Global idea. Gapwani. I'm just present. <laughs> oh, sorry. I think we are making a way with this. Oh, yeah. Our table's yeah, over there. We have to go somewhere. Okay, so you're, 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 you're with us, you're with us. Sophie, I haven't seen you in so long. It's what you been up to? Ages. Well, I've been in Puerto Galera the last few days. Sir Mashran, I was asked to model for this resort called many, many, uh, Elizabeth's Hideaway. Okay, I haven't heard about that. Is it new? Yeah, it's brand new. You should go. Is it like high end, five star? It's more like locally, uh, but it's beautiful. It's in like the most perfect location. Ooh, I'm being dragged away. <laughs> Hello. I said, I'm talking to that guy. Right? Friend, just... Oh, he's my BFF. Friend. BFF. <laughs> yeah. So, Sophie, you, you enjoyed your. Where you're from? Me? So I'm I from said, England. Uh, from England. I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everybody wants to talk to Big Sophie one. since, well, there's actually two women at the table, but... <laughs> so you were saying, how was your trip to Puerto Galera? It was amazing. Was yeah. it your first time? Um, yeah, first time. Yeah, it's beautiful. They have like loads of water sports. So I got to go jet skiing, banana boat, motorbiking, um, helicopter ride. Amazing. Guys, go to helicopter from uh, Batangas or a helicopter while you were within Puerto Galera? From Manila to Puerto Galera. <laughs> but they have a helipad like in their resort. Oh that resort has a yeah. helipad. Guys, that's awesome. It's a good resort. You should go to Elizabeth's hideaway. I'm such a good endorser. <laughs> that's awesome Sophie. And Sophie actually has a YouTube channel as well. So Sophie, you what's your YouTube your channel? TV right now. Wait, wait, wait. Sophie has to tell everybody what her YouTube channel is. I'm trying to get more she, fans. She, she, My YouTube the, channel. You born in I'm being born. I know I'm hey. not on any type of medium. Don't listen to him. <laughs> My local BFF. <laughs> My YouTube channel. Actually, I forgot YouTube the name of my YouTube channel. channel. Can they just look up Sophie Rankin? Yes, look up Sophie Rankin. The, the last T Sophie Rankin. Uh, Sophie is Rankin on Instagram. Instagram. So the party's just about to get started. Uh, you know, this is a <laughs> traditional Chinese laureate wedding. So we have a round table. That is the Mise en Plus. Hopefully, there's going to be some alcohol served, but most likely not. Um, quite spacious this ballroom I love the crystal chandeliers and let's take a look at the menu so it's a Chuaco wedding we're starting off with some roasted suckling pig oh my god 
fresh crab meat with shark's fin. Oh my god, I haven't eaten that in ages. Rock lobster salad, Japanese mushroom with Australian abalone, steamed live grouper. Oh my god, shark's fin with grouper. There better be crab on that menu. I haven't got it to the end yet. Lao! Okay, Lao, you continue. What is after that? We are, you have gone up to the steam live group, I guess. Yeah. So the next one I would presume is the Hong Kong fried pigeon. Pigeon too! These are all classics of Chinese weddings, if they're done proper. I mean, shark's fin, the fried pigeon, you got a lot of the exotics here. And there is also fried taro scallop. Oh, I've you know, never... The taro is actually the yam potato. Purple in color. Like ube. Like ube. Ube. Now, that is something I've never tried, so that's going to be something a little bit more modern Chinese. And if you look at the interiors of this place, they are super modern. This is one of the most newest Chinese restaurants in Metro Manila. Okay, Lala, what's up next? Three of us can become the next channel. What's up, what's up next? Lala and Lord does America. We're going to be the loudest keyboard. I'm sorry. Seriously, us three can be good. All this talking is making me very thirsty. I'm so hungry. I want to eat the cake. <laughs> <laughs> we just had lobster earlier. Okay, what's next? Let's finish the menu so I can do a cut. I was thinking only about you. Oh! Because you're pescatarian. I can't believe we're getting all this on film. Wow! Your true intentions are known. Okay, what's on the menu? Finish, finish. What's next? Oh, after that, we get steamed. Live mud crabs. Yes, we have the crabs. And we have the, the crabs. Amazing. With garlic. Okay. This is gonna be a feast for and the ages. And then we have ifu noodles. No sex food noodles. Ifu noodles. <laughs> sex food would be good. No. Sex when you have noodles, eh? Sex food. <laughs> it's only six o'clock. Is your mind already there? Dessert and panties. Okay, the next dessert and pastries. <laughs> you just did dessert and panties. Okay, so, well, we still have the whole reception, there's going to be a dance, the walk-in of the bride and groom, so... Good luck to Stay tuned, the plus, of course, the food. The dessert special, <laughs> but wait, what are you guys looking forward to in this wedding? Have you been to a Speeches. Chinese wedding before? Never, it's my first time, so I'm excited. It's your first Chinese wedding? Yeah, first Unbelievable. Ever. Guys, can you believe that that's your first Chinese wedding? You are going to have the most amazing time. Chinese weddings are so different from all weddings in the world. Really? Oh, I can't wait to experience it. And what I'm is so different excited. about that wedding? Well, first of all, the feast we have ahead of us. I mean, did you just hear what was on the menu? That when do you menu. get to eat all these exotic dishes? Sounds incredible. Even shark's food. That's what makes, that's what defines a Chinese wedding. The food. Bring on the beautiful feast. I'm so excited. Looks like we're starting off with some Johnny Walker Double Black. Hi, we are back on La 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 TV and we are at, look at this fabulous venue from Mark's sister's reception. I think it's beautiful, wonderful. And I got a blonde chick next to me and a brown man <laughs> who's a billionaire next to me too. That is the famous painter and uh, sculpturist Ramon Orlina. And should end in Ramon, how are you doing tonight? Okay, ready for our... And uh, wait, you didn't ask me. And our ready last tycoon. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, Mr. Ronnie. So, oh, Quezon City has just built the tallest building in Quezon City. I think you guys should all visit this building and see it's very environmentally friendly. Okay, let's get to the moment at hand. What is this? And Mr. Ronnie has volunteered today to give us a nice 21 salute royal salute 21 royal salute 21 years old black label johnny walker company it happens to be done 21 years ago yes. so which means i was just that? a child <laughs> okay pour some let's see let's okay right out where is it? Smell it, baby. I feel like I'm drunk on the fumes. That's intense. All right, and this one you gotta drink without any additives. 
That's what you call neat. You're neat. gonna have it neat. You're gonna have it neat. And the James Bond way, Mr. Ronnie. Thank you, thank you, Ronnie. For your good health and a few more buildings you can top up. Thank you, thank you. Cheers. And Orlina. Yeah. May you die in 50 years. <laughs> In 50, why not 100? Or why don't you get um, no, get involved 50, in some cryogenics? What I about cryogenics? Be, you forgot about cryogenics, lol. Why let him die in 50 years? Freeze your brain, freeze your body, and live for another thousand years. Exactly. Anything as possible. Lal didn't know about cryogenics yet. I wouldn't want to freeze my steak or anything. I'm so hungry! These are the most amazing peanuts I've ever had in my life. Chinese peanuts are one of the best. But aside from that, I couldn't help but notice you are devouring them. This is my second bowl. <laughs> That's our secret. It's so good, I swear. Awesome. I Glad you enjoyed. <laughs> Looks like our first dish has arrived. So to start, it's the roasted suckling pig. And oh my god, look at this. It's the whole pig. Okay, you got the head there. And everything and even jellyfish on the side. If that ain't gorgeous, I don't know what is. And, you know, Anthony Bourdain said, the Philippines has the best pig ever. And you have different kinds. You have the roasted lechon on a spit, charcoal. But look at this. This is Chinese style. Look at this. Oh my God, I'm just so excited to eat this. Sophie is a pescatorian, so she cannot eat any meat at all. But what she can eat from our first dish is the jellyfish. Sophie on the jellyfish. But do it only one strip at a time. Don't swallow it like a big fat. No, don't tell her how to eat her jellyfish. Let her eat it how she wants to eat it. Don't do that. This jellyfish is amazing. I've never had it before, and I'm impressed. Do it slowly. What is the matter with you? I think he just wants to watch you suck her. Eat the jellyfish. Yes. Yes. Suck her is what I like. No, no more games. She can do it on her own. Chuck. She's an adult. <laughs> she doesn't need a helping hand. It's really delicious. Open. Ni hao. Okay, what are your first impressions? Of Jimmy, your, of she's sucking one of those uh, nice? noodles. You like? Super fresh and uh, not very fishy. Yeah. Kind of a cross between fish and pasta. Ooh, and a jellyfish. I can taste the jelly texture. It's really nice. You like it, yeah? Yeah, it's so nice. So far, excellent. The best part to suckling pig for from Chinese style cooking is the skin. Oh my god. You see there's a layer of fat there and you got the crispy skin. Mmm. The crunchiness of the skin and the fat just melts in your mouth. About that meat. When life is so beautiful out there. Life is beautiful everywhere. But it starts with the food that you eat. And I love jellyfish. Good jellyfish bad, is an excellent combination with roasted suckling pig. Cheers guys. One of the most defining dishes in a Chinese wedding yeah. is shark's fin and crab meat soup. Why? 
Why? Because that shows ultimate luxury in a Chinese restaurant. So we are in an ultimate luxury Chinese restaurant. Well, absolutely. You know why? Because they don't just serve black vinegar here. They got red vinegar, see? Red yeah. vinegar is not usually served in a lot of Chinese restaurants because red vinegar is super expensive. Why? You have to put water. Red vinegar is the perfect complement to shark fin soup. Uh, so this is how we do it. We got a little bit of red vinegar and we add it to the soup. Yes, and this changes everything. This makes shark fin soup from this to like the best that it could be. You want to enhance the flavors of the shark's fin. But guys, you know, a lot a lot of you guys might be eco-friendly. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, what I believe, if a restaurant serves it, I don't go out of my way to order it. But if a restaurant serves it and it's served, then you better eat it because I think it's a waste to not eat it. Really? And that's why we're, we're going to enjoy this. But I tell you, I've, I've been... I've been living with Turks all my life. It's part of my culture. I'm half Chinese, so. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. Sir God. Good amount of Turks then. And look at the crab. Wow. That is a generous portion of crab in the bowl. This is absolutely delicious. I would. I highly recommend they this if you're into shark skin. You shark skin with crab meat soup. Exquisite. Why is the uh, hair is in the middle of your chin? Lal, stop touching. Come on, we're talking about food don't here. Don't touchy, don't touchy. <laughs> yeah, this is actually delicious. It's so nice. It's only my second time with shark skin soup. Yeah, and this is the best part. What's the best part? I love this wedding. <laughs> it's delicious, but what do you think about the sharks? Uh, actually, Are you environmentally friendly? You're a pescatorian? Actually, I feel bad. I, think I, am the, good. I feel like if you're going to eat fish, like there's no difference between having a shark and a goldfish. They both have a life, regardless of the size and appearance. And I'm personally against all, like eating all living things, but I still eat fish, so therefore I'm a hypocrite. But I don't eat meat. Save the animals, people! <laughs> Soon I'll give up fish. fish. the dish is prawn salad uh, this time it's a rock lobster salad so it's even takes it to another level because rock lobsters are quite pricey more than the regular prawns even though prawns are pricey on their own so a nice bit there mm. wow yes that was a massive chunk of rock lobster that just entered my mouth yeah Oh, that was. Yeah, I'm gonna have it's not like lobster. the lobster. It's not like the um, main lobster we had earlier, because obviously main lobster is uh, is on a different class of itself. But this, instead of prawns, is a nice change. What do you mean different? Let me be the one here. I Bring think, the okay. camera to me. Okay, Lal wants to talk now. Guys, what you believe in him, don't believe. <laughs> I will tell you the real truth. If this lobster goes in my mouth and I go ha ha, it is good. And I go ha ha, it means bad. Okay, are you ready? I'm just going to tell you. How are you going to do this? Do it now. Okay, here it is. Ha ha. Man, this is beautiful. <laughs> it can be the best lobster I've eaten. 
just so easy to hear, you know, pink stuff, all this dazzles me. Lal is digressing. The most important thing here is that this rock lobster salad versus the prawn salad, it's a unique twist to it. It's a higher end version. Um, do I like it? Yeah, yeah it's, oh, it's very nice. Uh, it's uh, what I love and is the agree, big chunks then. of the. Of course, this we agree. Is one of the good lobster salads we've yeah. ever had. Uh, rock, you can't go wrong with rock lobster, but obviously it's not a. I think uh, lobster, Lord, you and I should thing. go on more trips and understand the world. Yeah. one is a little bit slippery because of the sauce it's very solid it's not like a fish this is like from a shell it's super delicate and the texture is very similar to mushroom yeah it's still plenty of but things we're so ahead of you one of the best things you can eat Absolutely amazing. Trying her first abalone. Uh, how does the... Ever. You can't go. cut the main section. You're distracting you me. You have to put it full thing in No, the no more advice. Let yes. her eat on her own. Yes, let me eat. Stop being her yaya. Come on. Oh, you suck it. Hey, slowly. Don't bite. Oh, you took the whole piece. Yes. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> Baby, don't bite. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Chew it. Chew it. it. Oh. Let her enjoy She's the food. Coming. You are distracting me. Absolutely. Did it ruining my moment. <laughs> Did it so go nice. in? You liked it? How was the texture? What How did you compare the, it to? When it in? Did you swallow it or did it just... It's similar to... Uh, what's that fish that I love? What's that fish called? Mushroom. No, the other one. Like, um... Damn it. Scallop. Yes! Thank you! He read my mind. Scallops. It's similar to scallops. No, that, tell that me, when you swallow it, did it you swallow it? <laughs> what is that? Steamed live garuba with scallions and soy sauce is a classic for any Chinese wedding. People always like to eat fresh food that's live. So that's the garuba. That is the cheek part, which is the best part of the garuba. Many people don't know that. Normally, that's what you serve to your grandparents because that is the most tender part of the fish, the cheek. Oh, wow. Amazing. And after that, the next dish already arrived, and it's the pigeon. Okay. Apparently, this is an oven baked pigeon. So I put a little bit of salt and let pepper me, there. Let me, let me dictate the number. Let me dictate the number. No, I will tell you the number. Mm. Baby, you enter the number. No, 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 no. Wow. Wow, they do an excellent pigeon here. This pigeon is so succulent and crispy. Okay. This is one of the best pigeons I've ever eaten, my wife. Up next is a taro puff with scallop. I'm so excited. A friend of mine already ate it. Get into it. And that is one huge US scallop, whole piece. <laughs> I didn't put the sauce. I did a little bit. Wow, that is amazing. Massive US scallop. Breaded, deep fried. Lol stealing my drink now. And with like um, taro, which is like an ube yam. Oh my god, this is absolutely divine. This is a legendary dish right here. Wow. Parts 
for myself. Head of the mud crab for the crab fat that's right there. And of course the claw. Crab is always the main event of any Chinese wedding. It's either crab or lobster. But lobster, a little bit more high end. You gotta pay a little bit more for that. But what's really more enjoyable is the crab. Crab is the best for me. I've always been a crab man my whole life. Oh yeah, baby. The main event has arrived, which is the steamed mud crabs with garlic. This is essential for any proper Chinese wedding. If there is no crabs in the wedding, then that Chinese guy is probably poor. So, we're starting off with uh, Sophie because she's never had mud crabs before. I've never had mud crabs too. You gotta tell me the best part uh, yeah, is the head and the cloak. And this is the head. Here at the wedding, I'm kind of scared. At the wedding, of we're about to have crabs. Yeah, go oh. ahead, baby. Now I shoot your porno video. Okay, I can't eat this. I cannot eat the head. I'm scared. You have to do the No touchy. No touchy. No touchy. No touchy. I thought I can eat the head, but I'm scared of the head. So hey, so I'm putting the You are the so. authentic lobster girl. Over there. You like lobsters. Let me like, and you just touch <laughs> this one. Lord save me! Is it slurping by your hand? Oh, it's it's you. You. What do you this feel is how you about this? Uh, it's a beautiful glove. Tear it up, tear it. Just bite it. Don't rip it off. Do you think you can swallow this, or you can just put a piece of it? So the last dish tonight is the Ifu noodles. I was thinking it's gonna be with seafood, but it's plain Ifu noodles. I already had enough carbs. But Sophie's still hungry. So. I'm still eating. I think I'm the only person eating the noodles. So let's evaluate. Do you eat a lot of noodles for I don't eat that many noodles actually. You're normally they're like my go-to emergency snack. I love noodles too. Oh, I eat a lot of eggs and fish. Take it away. Sophie, I like that. You ate that like it was pasta. <laughs> I feel like I'm in an Italian restaurant. Yeah. Now. Chopsticks. This is actually really There's good. chopsticks here. I want to try. <laughs> Do you know how to use chopsticks or not? I lived in China last year and I still really I'm here. didn't okay, do well with Okay, I want to see how you use chopsticks. Okay, here we go. Barbie! <laughs> but I got a mess. <laughs> then you go. Uh, first of all, uh, <laughs> how are the noodles? How is the seasoning? Delicious. Barbie. I love like mushroom flavor with a hint of tomato. It's vegetarian. Yeah, perfect for me. Delicious. Exquisite again. Thank you, Sophie. Thank now let's, you. Let's get an opinion from a Chinese friend of mine. Oh, yes. Mon is a major foodie here in Manila. Why is he a foodie? Look how chubby he is. <laughs> this guy knows how to eat in the Philippines as a full bred Chinese by genetics guy. How are those Ifu noodles? The crab is good. You like the noodles? Too big. Dirt is my good friend. <laughs> He's a little bit shy. Okay, okay. Let's take it away from the noodles. What was your favorite dish tonight? Maybe the scallops. Yeah, the scallops with taro was absolutely out of this world. I've never tried that before. Very interesting modern Chinese uh, concoction. It's a cross of a dim sum. Looks like a yeah, dim sum. normally because you get the taro puff, that is dim sum. But now they added a US scallop, so that was amazing. Yeah, good. What else? Oh, that was number one. The pigeon was a The pigeon. pigeon. Yeah. Unique dish. <laughs> Thanks, Mon. Anytime. So this is my second serving. 
of the dessert. I'm officially finally full. <laughs> and it's so yummy. It's like a really sweet kind of pot soup. That is really I it's like got jelly in it, beans, potato. It's like a typical Chinese dessert. No more room for dessert, so I didn't eat that. But I know these hot Chinese desserts are also good. Red bean paste, etc. I'm normally used to the almond jelly with lychee, which I used to in a lot of my other videos, as well as the mango sago. But it was something different tonight. But I was already way too full from the grab. So guys, cheers till the next video.